pretty awesome. Today, we get to start the 86. We are finally back guys, well, at least for a couple of days, and we can finally get started on the 86 build. I know this is what we have all been waiting for. Me especially, it's been, well, how long? It's been like five months, right Tim? It's coming on five months. <laughs> it's been five months since we've owned this car, and we are just now building it, and it's so exciting. I'm home for a couple of days. I have some other stuff going on later in the month, which you guys will see, but I figure while we're here, let's get started on doing some stuff with the 86. I wanna see your parts haul, okay? Look at this, we have my parts haul here, but most importantly, this is why I love hatches. Full exhaust system, headers, and some extra parts. This is the, so I figured today, guys, we would go over uh, the entire car. I told you guys that we had a full overview of the car coming. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go over all the parts that we'll be doing, as well as we have a couple of smaller stuff in the front that I ordered a long time ago that I forgot was in the box, actually. So we're gonna go over all that, and we're gonna be installing some small things today and going over the build plan, which is gonna be super sick. This is one thing that we're gonna be uh, installing today installing or putting in the car today a lot of the 86 guys if you're watching this you would know what expert oz is this is a very og company that we got really lucky finding these so we gonna show you guys this in just a bit put these over here here is the box of unknown parts which will also be getting installed on the car today but what we're not installing today, probably the most important parts of the build we have a full fujitsubo and tech arts exhaust system which for all of the 86 guys, we know that Tech Arts, the pinnacle of parts for the 86, which I'm super excited for. And I'll show you guys this when it's exhaust time. This will probably be the next build video that you guys see. And something that you guys might have seen during the reveal of the 86 are the Fujitsubo and Tech Arts headers. So I did the full exhaust system. This thing has such a gnarly exhaust leak and it sounds like absolute poop. So I figured we would go ahead and change the entire system. And today when we're doing the walk around, we're actually gonna lift this car up, check underneath it so that you guys can see as well and check out what exhaust this is. Cause I'm pretty sure this has been modified before and now it's just like really rattly and I'm raspy. thinking it's an exhaust shop special. Yeah, it definitely is an exhaust shop special. During the actual reveal of the car, I showed you guys a lot of it, but this is a 1984 Toyota AE86 and it has the GTS conversion from the engine, the trans and the front brakes but it doesn't have the GTS rear end, which is what we're picking up actually tomorrow. And you guys will get to see that build as well. But what I haven't shown you guys yet is underneath the car. So we're gonna go and lift her up, show you guys everything underneath, show you guys the suspension that it has, which is actually pretty cool, and then get into some little parts. This is also the first time Tim and I have actually had a good look underneath the car. And we can definitely see that this is an exhaust shop special. Look at this. So you guys can see everything, even from the headers down, has been like re-welded on. This is gross. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. Even the cat right here, that's like- My welder self is hating this thing. Right <laughs> look at this, they bent this just to make it fit. That's so weird. Yeah, they did right here. That's so strange. And we have a massive leak on our rear diff, which you guys saw a little bit too. Uh, like I said, this entire rear assembly, everything on the diff, everything is getting replaced. It's gonna be really nice. It's all refreshed, GTS, um, a lot of OEM Toyota parts. We have new brake lines, new brakes. Oh my God. Look at that hanger. <laughs> what, bro? 
it's not even working. Yeah, guys, this, you, you'll hear it in the uh, exhaust install video. This thing sounds disgusting. Not in a good way, it's, it's gross. Nice little upgrade would be nice of this stuff. Yeah, new sway bar. So this thing actually has some upgraded arms up front. Can't win them all. These are Megan Racing, what is this, a toe arm? <laughs> it's not even so. <laughs> we have Megan Racing toe arms and it's not even, uh, not even secured here. It's supposed so. to be down there. <laughs> wow. Can't win them all here, but I will say this car feels really good. I mean, I drove it all the way from my house down to the shop, which is an hour drive. No issues, it feels really smooth. We bought the car when the engine was freshly rebuilt with some really good parts, and the car has probably now about 600 miles on the rebuilt engine, which is, that's really freaking cool. And what I'm really, really happy about is there are no leaks coming from the engine, from the oil pan. Absolutely nothing. It's actually really, really nice. One last thing I wanted to show you guys was the suspension. So this is the Annex suspension. Um, you know, I don't know a lot about this. It does feel okay, but we have brand new suspension from Fortune Auto that are coming in and they're actually a true rear suspension. So the divorced setup, which we will no longer have, we're gonna have a single strut and spring suspension setup and that's gonna be a lot nicer probably than this Annex suspension. Pretty much everything that we wanted to show you guys, th look at this, look at this, Tim, you see the exhaust tip? It's, uh, it's just welded on there. This is a welder okay. special. <laughs> like they didn't even uh, bother to weld that. <laughs> That's why it's, dude, this thing is leaking so bad. It's gross, oh, but. Oh, they freaking welded to the frame, look. Did they really? Oh, they did, up there. Oh my, that's gonna be fun to get off. So, we're definitely gonna have our work, our work cut out ahead of us, but that's okay, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This car is gonna be amazing by the time we get finished with everything that we wanna do to it. That's pretty much what I wanna show you guys. We're gonna go ahead and lower the car now and show you guys some of the parts that we'll be installing today. So this is, Door shifter. I'd remember that. This is super oh, sick. Yeah. That is. This is beautiful. Really so this nice. is a, uh, a carving strut tower bar. And dude, it's like <laughs> super light. It's really, really nice. What else is in here? So this is actually uh, for a steering wheel, whenever we get a steering wheel oh, in. Nice. I've ordered a lot of things that still have not come in yet, guys, by the way. But also, look at that. OEM new AC plate. So such like a small insignificant mod, but it's gonna make such a big difference on the car. So we have this guy and I'll show you really fast what the in, what it looks like now. Yeah. Pretty gross. So we have this guy now, which is brand freaking new. So that's gonna look way better. I have no idea how we're gonna do that, but I may wait on this until I can find an entire center console. Last but not least, like I said, I'm really excited for the sticker too, honestly. We have Expert Oz floor mats. These are freaking sick and OG, period correct. I went with like the black and the navy, just because the interior of my car is not the GTS, so I do have the blue interior with black accents, and this actually matches really, really well. So we'll save this for the very end. We're gonna go ahead and knock out the strut tower bar. Uh, let's open this short shifter. We can do the short shifter too. That's it super looks nice. Good. Yeah, this is super nice. So it's just gonna enhance the driving experience like I always like. Some of the first things that I do are just small interior bits like this because it makes it so much more fun. So we have our work cut out for us today. We're gonna go ahead and get started. What do you think we should do first? Do this guy shifter. first? Shifter first? Hardest first. Hardest first? Let's go ahead and get started with the short shifter here. Yeah, uh, so thankfully I, we got kind of lucky i guess so this center console was already broken when i bought the car here so usually you would have to take out the entire console here but this plastic was already cracked right here so i can just kind of take out half of it which is super easy and that way we can actually just get right to the short sh or the stock shifter here we'll unbolt all this stuff and should probably pretty easily get that short shifter in Car, man. Easiest one we've done. Also, okay. You don't need that. I don't need I that. Got new hardware. This guy was like super floppy and gross. Look at this, dude. Why is it ankled like that? Well, how much is the stock one? Is it just straight off? Nice. Look at that. So that's pretty sick. This is super nice. 
Uh, should we add more grease or do you think it's enough? Uh, yeah, we'll add grease to that little ball right there. Okay, so yeah, just give you guys a quick comparison versus stock versus I think this is the Techno Toy Tuning short shifter here. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grease up all up real fast and throw this guy back in and we'll test her out. Thankfully, it already comes assembled. Thank you, Techno Toy Tuning, for assembling this before <laughs> sending it out. That's awesome. But all right, let's go ahead and throw everything back in. Everything is greased up. We got a little bit of gasket maker around this. So... Oh, that's like it's so like a easy. Glove. But this definitely has way, way more angle than this. <laughs> it stock. really does. Okay, let's go ahead and bolt this guy in and then we can test her out. So I'm really liking like the direction that I want to take this is for like a comfortable driver, but set up for the toge. If I want to go and like run it hard, have some fun in the mountains, like this thing can do it while also being able to drive to like cars and coffee. And like, I want this to be like a, a driver's car, something really nice that we can just enjoy. So I heard that you were going to start delivering tofu soon. Maybe, you know, they just opened up a Fujiwara's Tofu Cafe. Did in you ask for a job? Because it's a secret. No one can know. No one can know. If you see a car riding in the toge it's, this is of a, California uh, at 3 a.m. <laughs> No, we're gonna we're gonna do boba delivery. It's almost so nice I don't want to cover it up. Oh. Yeah, but then you'll have air Dude. coming. Dude, oh, that's clunky. Oh, that is notchy, bro. One, two. Is that is that three? Is that three? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that angle is actually nice for this you is being super, tall. Yeah, this is super nice. And then uh, there's also a TRD shift knob that I really want to get. Just have to find it. But, dude, this is good. I'm going to put everything back together and then we can try it with a shift knob and everything because that's kind of like, do you hear that? Like, this makes a, that's a good sound. That's a good, satisfying clunk. Let's get you closer to the clunk. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay guys, take a look at this. This is, oh God, that is, I think just, that's pretty sick dude. I'm excited to drive this thing. All right, but we have a couple things left to go and then we can give her a test drive. I'm super excited about that. All right, now time for one of the nicest pieces. I, this is something that this car actually really needs. Yeah. Right here. This is gonna be really cool. So the, the car being at Strut Tower Bar. Go ahead and, oh, I should probably get those off first. One thing that I really do wanna do still is change up this valve cover. Um, as cool as it kinda is, uh, I'm not really a fan of the whole artwork on the valve cover. So I'm thinking we do wrinkle black again. I think yeah. it's like a very clean, classic style, especially for this car. Um, so that's one thing that we want to do down the road once we can actually find gaskets before we get started with it. That's really the hardest thing to get right now. But Powder yes. coaters, get at us. Yes, please. Very gracefully do this. Guys, this is freaking sick. This is definitely the tightest fitting strut tower bar that I've ever used. Tim had to lift the car up on the lift, drop the suspension a little bit, and then squeeze it all together. And when we sat the suspension back down, it kind of like expanded everything. And this thing is so freaking solid. And it even bolts up to the frame. It's not even there. It's not even down all the way, it's solid. Uh, so we have to still do the, uh, oh yeah, we still have to tighten down the strut tower. Yeah, it's solid without it even being bolted down. That's super sick. And I love the motto behind carbing too. Enjoy motoring and motor spirits. That's freaking sick. Overall, that's a, just really, really cool. I'm super excited with this car. Last but not least, we have the Expert Oz floor mats. I don't know why I'm so excited about these, but these are gonna be really sick, and this is legitimately legitimately the very first thing I bought for the car. Um, if you guys don't know about Expert Oz, and if you have an 86, Expert Oz is one of the coolest companies, uh, parts-wise, track cars-wise. I'm gonna leave a couple of pictures of Expert Oz um, cars on the screen. And, um, they do have like a track heritage behind them, which I really like, and they also have really sick OG floor mats. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw these in the car, and that'll, uh, that'll be it 
for our parts today. Let's check it out. Also, the card currently doesn't have any floor mats at all, so this is just like a nice touch. It comes with uh, both fronts, a little, up, I'll show you. Good choice on the color too. Yeah, it's like a perfect color for the interior. Like I told you guys, we do have the blue interior because uh, it's not GTS interior, but this with like a kind of hint of gray black makes it match really nice in here. And I tell you guys this all the time, the smallest differences in a car, the smallest little details make the biggest difference, especially when you're sitting in a car driving it, you want it to be as nice and as comfortable for yourself as possible. And that's why I like doing little things like this. I'm a short shifter and my favorite part of the car is a push to start, just random shit, you know? <laughs> really just like sets off the car. All right, 86, I made it back in the garage. I'm actually very surprised that this thing did skids. You know, you know why it did skids? Why? New strut tower brace. The new strut tower <laughs> brace made the whole front end really, really rigid so that the rear end could slide out. Maybe next time when it's not 12 o'clock and everybody's on lunch, we can do a little bit more skid. Uh, but that was really fun. This thing is, this thing, when we are finished doing everything that we want to do to it, it's going to be so awesome, guys. We have tons of, Tim's doing some planning over here. Measurements with my dad. <laughs> yeah. Tons of canyon runs, maybe even some track days. There's a local 86 group that's uh, close to us that actually does track days at Chuck Wallow with a bunch of 86s. So I feel like that would be a lot of fun with this car. Guys, this is just the beginning. We're going to have so much fun. We have the entire exhaust setup. We have new wheels. We have cages, Eight more interior bits. There's a lot to be done, guys, and it's gonna be really, really cool. But for now, we're gonna pause because we truly, really can't do anything until we get the new rear end because it's pretty sketchy back there. Uh, it doesn't hold oil, makes weird sounds, and the brakes are really, really bad. With the new GTS rear end, we get a, uh, I think it's a TRD upgraded diff, which is gonna be sick. We actually get disc brakes, nice uh, hawk pads. Overall, this thing is gonna change tremendously and it's gonna be a absolute ripper. But that's it for today and we're gonna head home. Yeah, okay guys, we made it home tonight bringing back Dutt's Kitchen. Uh, well, this is this is an episode of Dutt's Grill here, okay? We are cooking some filets. My little sis is here, she's in there hanging out with Tiana, watching some, some TV, but thought uh, it's one of our last nights here. We're gonna celebrate and have some filets. Also, I'm gonna make some lobster tails. These 
always look bomb. Check it out. Cook to perfection. Check this out. Oh, oh ha. That's a good filet. All right, let's go check on the lobster tails. Okay, bone apple teeth. <laughs> what do you think? Look at this, that's a perfect steak. It's 100 out of 10. The, the lobster's almost gone already. Oh yeah. Chef did it again. This is gonna be bomb. All right, guys, we are finishing up editing this video. If you guys are freaking stoked for the 86 build, it's gonna be nuts. And at the end of the month, we have a really big surprise coming with the new giveaway car too, so stay tuned. Um, coming up are gonna be the really big mods for the car, so the GTS we ran, the exhaust, the cage, interior, everything is gonna be super dope, so stay tuned. Keep me motivated. We have some really cool plans coming up, so. Also, they just opened up a Fujiwara Tofu Cafe locally, so we're gonna be visiting that, maybe hosting uh, local cars and coffee or something like that with the owners uh, i'm super stoked but either way hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you haven't already please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it really does help me out and i will see all of you guys for the next video peace out